thank you so much for coming back to another video and in today's video we're going to be talking about monster hunter so monster hunter is the latest video game franchise to get a live action movie adaptation made from it and this time it's directed by paul w s anderson who's probably best known for his resident evil films that star his wife who's also in this film mila jovovich and he's also directed some other films that i have some guilty pleasure love for as well as some movies that i do thoroughly enjoy uh, some of those guilty pleasure ones for me are probably like mortal kombat the original one which isn't really a great film but it's kind of beloved within the mortal kombat uh you know fan base um as well as Alien vs. Predator, he did Event Horizon, Death Race. Those are all films that I would say I thoroughly enjoy on different levels and for different reasons, but they're overall uh, enjoyable films for me. And yeah, he's probably, like I said, best known for doing the Resident Evil franchise, which I was never really crazy about, even though I love the Resident Evil video games. So here we are with another video game adaptation from Paul W.S. Anderson. And what did I think? I thought it was alright. I thought it was okay. I thought that there was some fun action and some really big beautiful visual effects on the monsters specifically, but I felt the movie itself felt a little bit hollow when it came to the narrative and the characters. This movie is essentially just a big dumb, you know, kaiju monster film, and I've been pretty, you know, easy going when it comes to the movies that I've talked about that are within that genre here on the channel. But I think what this movie lacked for me to kind of give it a little bit more love that I usually give some of those other ones is it doesn't even have that cheesy charming element that you can kind of forgive a movie like this for. And I think by the end of the movie I just didn't care about any of the characters. I didn't really care about what was happening and I was really just kind of watching for the action which I can say was quite entertaining though what I will say is that the editing through a lot of these sequences was just very choppy there was a lot of editing a lot of cuts and sometimes it just kind of took me out of it most specifically when there's hand-to-hand -hand combat between uh, human characters I mean whether it's a punch or the impact on the ground falling to the ground impact on the wall running towards somebody screaming whatever it was anytime they kind of made a movement or were ready to attack there was constantly a cut so some of these action sequences in hand-to-hand -hand combat are back and forth cut 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 and that kind of took me out of some of those action sequences though the bigger things that you come to this movie for the, the battles with the big monsters I will say uh, those are definitely fun to watch even though I felt that the film and those action sequences all kind of felt rushed and it kind of felt like you didn't really feel a great sense of stakes when you were watching these action sequences. You know that they're fighting these huge monsters that can kill them and that there should be this ginormous threat. You know, there is this threat set up in the movie, but you already feel very comfortable that the characters are going to get through this without a scratch on them or without a real issue. So, you know, after a couple big monster battles, you realize, all right, well, this is just going to be how it is. You know, they're going to be fine when this monster battle is over. It's just going to be fun to watch. So there really wasn't a huge sense of stakes for me while watching this. There really wasn't anything that made me feel emotional for the characters and their journey it was just kind of a rush story with kind of hollow characters and some big action sequences that's essentially what this movie felt like to me now I was gonna say this at the beginning of the video so I want to touch on it now I've only ever played one Monster Hunter game but one of my favorite things about that game even though I found it to be a little bit redundant over time was the fact that it was a really big expansive universe just filled with great fantasy lore you play these games mainly for the monster hunting for the action for the adventure element the exploration that's the fun part of those games and I've always had a lot of fun watching other people play the other games that I haven't played. I've always just really enjoyed the universe, the different attire and armor that the characters are wearing, the weapons that they use to, to fight off these monsters, the various monsters and creatures and sidekicks and all these different kinds of abilities that the enemies and the characters have in these games. And so I always thought that that was some of the coolest stuff that they could bring to a movie like this. But this is another fish out of water, kind of bringing the real world into a video game kind of movie. We saw it work recently with the Sonic the Hedgehog film where he comes into the real world and you know they're able to make a fun story out of that but I think based on the fan reception from the opening of the Sonic the Hedgehog film and that post credit scene and just talking to other fans I feel like even though the film was well received I think most people would have just loved to have seen a Sonic film in the Sonic world with the Sonic characters so while I was watching this film you have these characters from the human world who have now been sucked in through some sort of storm portal into the Monster Hunter world but it just doesn't really feel like it makes much sense. I, maybe I'm just not fully knowledgeable on the games, but I don't remember there ever being anything where the real world was really even a thing. You know, there was just the Monster Hunter universe, the universe that set up the, the fantasy filled world. And I think they kind of go a cheap route and kind of cheapen what they could do with these fantasy 
big lore heavy universes by bringing in the real world to kind of feeling like they have to implement the real world you know they did it with sonic and it worked but it's not always going to work and in this film i just feel like they missed the opportunity to tell a fun cool story within this universe in and of itself when you play the games one of the coolest things is to see these different creatures and people walking around you know people who are kind of sentient they have all these creatures like the cat people the cat creatures i don't know exactly what they're called they say it in this movie but yeah there's all these different creatures and all these different monsters and different kinds of warriors and hunters in that universe and there's so much lore that you learn over the course of the game just based on playing the game and talking to people in the game and kind of you know just having you know lore built in video games as they do in these big adventure action quest heavy games i think when you play the game you just realize that the world is just heavy with so much potential to really tell a fun and cohesive and really badass big fantasy epic story in that universe and i think the fact that majority of this film focuses on mila jovovich's character being this kind of fish out of water from the real world it just kind of took away from i think what this movie really could have been now with that said i went into this kind of just expecting its own thing i wasn't looking for it to super tie into the games again i've only played one of the games and i don't really think that the games have this huge overarching narrative that really matters as much i think it's more about the uh you know adventure and the killing of the monsters if i'm wrong feel free to you know correct me down below but yeah, watching this movie, I just felt like there was too much time spent with that. And it isn't until the end of the film that we really start to get a little bit more of that lore and seeing some of the creatures and seeing a little bit more of the Monster Hunter world that you get to kind of explore in the video games. And so I just feel like they kind of threw her into the situation. They spent a huge chunk at the beginning of the movie with her kind of being this fish out of water kind of character. And then they kind of do this rushed montage to where now she's kind of getting comfortable with wearing the armor and using their weapons. And after about, you know, 10 minutes of montage and showing a couple scenes of her figuring it out she's now ready to fight monsters just as well as the people who live in this world and have been fighting these monsters for years it just was kind of one of those cheap things where i just didn't feel the sense of stakes and the, the sense of depth to her character and her journey it just kind of feels rushed and by the time the movie ends I, I really couldn't have cared less about any of the characters and what happened. I will say, for, you know, I was entertained while I was watching it. I'm not clamoring to rewatch this movie. I think that there's definitely better movies to watch, and it's not a movie I'm going to tell people to rush to theaters to see. I think this is a movie that if you see it on Netflix or it's for rental one day, you see it on Hulu, something like that, some streaming service, and you want to check it out, it's a harmless watch. I think a lot of people will probably enjoy this and be entertained by it. Funny enough, outside of the action and the visuals, my favorite moment in this movie was when somebody in the Monster Hunter world was introduced uh, to chocolate through Mila Jovovich's character, and uh, their reaction to the chocolate was probably one of the most entertaining parts of the movie as far as characters go, and it was the only moment in the entire movie that got any sort of reaction from the audience that was in the theater. It was the only moment that I feel most people could probably really attach to the characters. So Monster Hunter, not a movie I'm crazy about. I think it was all right. I think it was cool. I thought, I thought it had some cool action, but overall, I just felt like the story was just kind of lackluster there it kind of left something to be desired the characters didn't really engage me i didn't really care about what was happening to them and i think what really ruined it for me more than anything is that the film just has no sense of finality it ends right in the middle of some of the goodness like right when it seems like it's about to get really intense the movie ends and then there's kind of like a mid credit scene that shows a little bit more of that but still it never really feels like the film has a sense of finality it very much seems like they were setting this up for a sequel that I don't even know we're ever gonna get. So yeah, in and of itself, I don't think it's a film that tells a cohesive story from beginning to end that really makes you care about the characters and feels like something has been concluded by the end of it. And you know, this isn't a Marvel movie. This isn't one of those franchises that can have a story that kind of concludes, but also leaves things open for the rest. This is a movie that I think needed to kind of introduce people to the Monster Hunter world and tell its own story and keep people excited to maybe tell another story but it literally ends, like literally the title card pops up at the end of the movie right in the middle of some goodness. And so I just couldn't help but feel like that was a very strange choice. And by the end of the movie, I just didn't care about the characters and I didn't care about the story. I was there for the action. It was all right. It was cool. I can't necessarily give it a flat out recommendation, but if you're interested in it and you're a fan of kaiju, big monster movies, there's fun to be had here, but it's not a film that I think is going to be 
beloved by too, too many. And I just feel like after watching it, just from the little bit of knowledge I had from the time I played that one Monster Hunter game, I feel like they only scraped the surface of the lore, the universe, the monsters. There's only a handful of the monsters in here. And that's probably one of the coolest things about playing the game is seeing all the different monsters and creatures and, and seeing the whole world. And majority of this kind of just takes place in one place with just a handful of the monsters. And I just feel like they missed out on the opportunity to really tell a fun, cool story in this universe without having to bring in the whole fish out of water character from the real world coming into the monster hunter world kind of thing i think that just kind of cheapened the opportunity but i will say that i wasn't bored watching it i was entertained and i you know at least enjoyed the action sequences so yeah i'm gonna stop rambling now go ahead and leave your comments down below are you looking forward to seeing this movie have you seen this movie i definitely want to hear what you guys have to say monster hunter starring mila jovovich directed by her husband paul ws anderson it was alright, it was cool, nothing crazy, but I am looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye